I'm sure if you're a Sony camera user, then you're familiar with the Sony Imaging Edge app, whether that's the editor, the viewer, or what I want to discuss, the remote function, and why I think this part of the app is so bad, but also has loads of potential. This app is designed to allow you to control your Sony camera using devices other than your camera itself. So you can use it on your computer, your tablet, and even on your phone. However, despite the app being available for free, the app has received a lot of criticism from users because of its poor performance, connectivity issues, and lack of features. One of the main issues with this app is that it can be slow and buggy. I'm often finding that the app suffers from persistent app crashes or freezes before I'm able to finally get it to work making it difficult to use, which can be particularly frustrating if you're trying to capture photos or videos in the moment, as it may cause you to miss out on that shot due to the app's performance. It lacks those key features that many users would expect to see in a camera, which can be limiting to users who want to have more control over their shots. Additionally, the app's Wi-Fi connectivity can be unreliable, making it difficult for you to connect your camera to your phone. Connecting direct to the camera via the camera's Wi-Fi rarely works for me, but I found more consistency with having the ZV-10 connected via the access point, which when I'm at home is my router. So when it comes time to connect, I'll find that I'll connect via the access point most of the time when both the camera and the phone app are on. But obviously that access point connection can only be done when you've got access to the access point. Otherwise, it's back to the inconsistent connection of direct to the camera Wi-Fi. The interface itself is another bugbear of mine. It's just quite boring and unintuitive yes you've got access to most of the settings that you need to make those basic changes but i feel like it could do with some advanced features this can sometimes make it challenging for you to find the settings and the options that you need and can make the app experience frustrating to use overall with some people often reverting back to the settings on the camera itself so what would make the sony imaging app even better for me, it'd be to have a full screen display with a transparent overlay showing the current camera settings, ability to see zebras, false colors, peakings, waveforms, and other useful information like that. Basically everything that you'd see on the camera's display itself. But as opposed to having it on top or on the side, you've got this portable device that you can have anywhere. But there is an app that does exactly that, and that is the Monitor Plus app, which has the features and settings that I've found to be a much more intuitive provide a smoother performance which make it much more enjoyable to use with a better interface than this one and that ability to see those extra screen displays i was just talking about plus there's even an option to connect to the camera via wired connection which provides less latency and overcomes that wireless connection problems that even occur using the monitor plus app and the zv10 sounds good doesn't it but you've got to remember unlike the imaging edge app which is free and although there is a free version of the Monitor Plus app, which just gives you access to live view, remote control, and histogram, all of those extra features are behind a paywall. But if you regularly want to utilize remote control and monitoring options, then spending for the premium version may be useful to you. But if not, then you've still got the Sony imaging app, which is good at the basics, but that's it. Hopefully one day, one day, Sony will make a companion mobile app that's worthy and utilizes the remote handling of their beautiful cameras. And then while the app, is free to download and use many will still flock to using this app because it is the sony app but those same users may end up simply not wanting the frustration and hassle that it can cause and may eventually flock to other options instead but if you're the sort of person who doesn't want to use apps but still wants to remote control but with an actual remote then go check out this video which you can click on right now to go and watch and if you like this video hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next video.